In today's video, we are going to be talking about how to export your Canva designs into a vector file. Now let's start off with why we might want to be using a vector file instead of a Canva file. Vector files can be resized without any problems, which is amazing. They can be edited down with any loss of quality and they can be edited up. So you can make a design that is smaller on scale in Illustrator. You can make it on a five by five artboard in Illustrator and you can blow that design up to put it on a billboard as long as it is in vector. So that's why we're gonna make some of our designs from Canva and turn them into vector files. So we're gonna take our Canva designs and we're gonna put them into Illustrator, turn them into vectors so that you can edit them outside of Canva. There are two different ways that we can export our files. So the first way is gonna be exporting as an SVG file and the second way is gonna be exporting as a PDF file. The first way exporting as an SVG you have to have a Canva Pro account. So I'm gonna do that one first. And if you don't have a Canva Pro account, I'll leave a link for you below where you can sign up and you can get a free month if you wanna use it. So with our Canva Pro account, we are gonna export this file as an SVG file and then we're gonna be pulling it into our Illustrator. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here, make sure you have all of your items unlocked, make sure nothing is locked over here. There's the locked icon. Now we're gonna go share and then click download. And you'll see here you can toggle between different methods. So we're going to click the SVG and you can see right there there's a little crown which means you have to have Canva Pro to be able to do this. So we're going to go ahead and click that one. And then we're going to click download. So I'm going to take this file that I just downloaded and I'm going to just drop it into my Illustrator. Click OK. And here we have it right here. So now it's a little bit bigger than the canvas as you can see so we had a bigger rectangle on our canvas and then obviously these um, organic shapes are going to be coming off of the canvas so I like to just delete this just to get it out of the way. Now you have the SVG you can pull it into Illustrator you can change the colors you can edit it any way you want make it like a pink. This file is now a vector file within Illustrator, so you can share it, you can change it, you can change the colors of anything you want to, you can move things around. It just makes it that much easier. So that's the first way to do it. And then let's dive into the second way how to do this. The second way that you can export your Canva designs to a vector file in Illustrator is going to be by downloading it as a PDF. So we are going to do that right now, and you don't need Canva Pro to be able to do this. So we are going to download change your suggestion here. So we are gonna do a PDF, standard PDF, and make sure you don't click flatten. And then we're gonna go ahead and download it. And we're gonna just drop that into Illustrator, bring that in, and here we go. So here it is in Illustrator, and then I'm gonna do Command A, which is select all, and then you come up here to object, go to clipping mask, and go ahead and click release on that. And that's just gonna open up all of the elements so that we can move it. So if I don't have that done, I can still move the elements, but they're not gonna be the full elements. So as you can see here, this blob is cut off, so we don't wanna do that. So I'm just backing up right now. Command A, select all. We are gonna to go to object, clipping mask, release it one more time, there you go. And now all of this is going to be editable. Now we can edit everything we want to here. We can move these organic shapes around. We can change their color. We can change anything that we want to about this design. So this is a great way to export your Canva designs if you want to make something in Canva since it's easier for you. And then if you need it to be a vector file or you need it to be in Illustrator when you send it somewhere else, this is the easiest way to do that. Again, if you don't have Canva Pro, you can always do the PDF version, but if you do have Canva Pro, it's just a little bit easier doing it the SVG way. SVGs are a little bit higher quality of a file and you get that transparent background that you don't get on a PDF. And here's another fun thing about Canva Pro is you can use the resize tool. So right here we have 1080 by 1920. And if I wanted to turn this into an Instagram post, I could just do 1080 by 1080 and I'm gonna copy and resize, and it's gonna redo this entire post for me. So it's gonna resize the post for me, and all I have to do is just move some of these elements around, make them a little bit bigger, move it like that. So this is one of the pros of having a Canva Pro account is you get more access to different apps and everything like that. Thanks for watching. Please let me know if you guys have any other questions, drop them below. 
and don't forget to like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys again next week.